Welcome to the Continuum Podcast. I'm your host, Mystic Viper X, and today we're playing Day Z, and we're getting to the chopper. In my last video, I explained at length how to use the chopper in Day Z, how to repair it, and how to fly it. And um, this time, I'm going to go into detail on how to just get the chopper and get it going. And it is not always prudent to have the chopper uh, out in the wild and to fix it out in the wild it's best just to fix it as fast as you can get it in the air and get it to a safe spot and in doing so um, it, it increases your chances of keeping the helicopter so with that I'm gonna spawn in the helicopter um, sometimes helicopter can spawn inside of a hangar so we're gonna discuss getting the helicopter out of a hangar in this video I'm gonna grab my engine parts and I'm not 100% sure, but I might be able to pick up the main rotor too. Why, well, yes, Bob, I can. Uh, with the main, with the helicopter, you simply have to put, uh, repair the engine, repair the main rotary, and one piece of scrap to fix the back uh, rotor or the tail rotor which is to prevent the helicopter spinning out of control through whatever force you want to call it. Centripetal, centrifugal, whatever. And to hit to fix the rotor, you hit do repair hit V rotor. And thinking, we're thinking, we're thinking. Ooh, that's an interesting. We're not repairing the hull, we're not repairing the avionics, we're not repairing the windshields. Um, it is prudent to do so. Uh, it increases the armor value of the helicopter, but it's not necessary. So we're going to put one tank of fuel in the helicopter. We're going to go ahead and hop into it and start her up. Now, so we have no fuel. Our instrument panel is non-responsive. And in fact, I think if I got inside and looked down, it actually is showing me something. Can't see out very well because of the windshields. Go ahead and get some lift. We're going to turn auto hover on just to give us some rotor control. And then we're going to Parker back down on the ground. And we're going to turn auto hover off. Get some lift. And we're just going to ease her out. We're just tapping the W key to give us some forward momentum and tapping the S key to uh, level us back out. And we're out. Uh, we're at the northeast airstrip. So I'm going to come over here. Whoa! Put too much on the controls. Let's go ahead and just park it right here by this fuel can. We got zombies coming around everywhere. Uh, there's a fuel can on the other side of this wall right there, so we can just fill up. Uh, go ahead and shut the engine off. Uh, uh, we're gonna get out and these guys aren't going to bother me because I'm cheating using uh, uh, the single player mod and disabling them so I'm just going to ignore them for now and an interesting fact about the Huey is you access the rear compartment by the tail fin and you can place items in the helicopter which is nice and that's how you start the helicopter and uh, get it out of a hangar if you ever find it in a hangar. Um, again, uh, anybody shoots you while the helicopter is in this state, you're going to die. There's absolutely no armor value to the helicopter. Um, you're, 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 just, you're not going to make it. But if you are just trying to get to a safe spot somewhere out off the beaten path, um, a couple of cans... Uh, three or four cans, uh, jerry cans of fuel, uh, is more than enough to go 4K, 4.5K to uh, a safe spot. Um, thanks for watching.